Dear transphobic cis person, I am so glad that you are so comfortable with your body that you get to decide where I should take a leak. Do you feel good? Dear middle class father, you say trans women shouldn't get to use the woman's restroom because it's just an excuse for men to get close to your daughter. I don't think you want me to walk into the bathroom while your daughter's trying to use the facility. But what you don't understand is that that's what you're insisting. Dear elderly woman, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I frightened you when I didn't have the courage to walk beyond and past the sign of my correct labeling. That was my fault. I should have been stronger than that. I'm sorry if I startled you. Dear mothers, I heard your kid ask you, Mommy, is that a boy or a girl? And I forced you to have a conversation with your kid about gender. I used to feel awkward, but you're welcome. Hopefully, it broadened their idea of the gender spectrum. I mean, after all, it is your kid's generation that holds the destiny of our world's fate. Dear hatred religious man on the corner, you are so contradicting. Always gender policing everyone. And you constantly say that being trans is a choice, but you tell me where I should release my bladder. It's almost like you're trying to prevent me from even having the option to be trans. How's that a choice? Oh, and you also say that God gave us free will. So why is it that I can't decipher what bathroom suits me best? Why would you want to give away the gift that your creator gave to humankind? Yes, I said humankind because we're human. We're people. We aren't freaks, we aren't monsters, and we aren't abnormal. Out of the million things that I love about our community, there is one thing that I adore most, and it's that we aren't pushovers. We will fight this. We will stand together, we will hold hands, we will build walls out of each other until each and every one of our brothers and sisters know fuck that siblings have the right to be comfortable. I want to go out on a public outing and feel comfortable. And everyone else should have that right as well. Because we're all equal, right? Isn't that what you say? We're all equal, we all have equal rights. But there are so many things that need to change for this to be true. It's astonishing what movement our family can make. We can impact, we can shake. It's a revolution. We need to take action. Oh, and dear government, I'm just trying to pee.